Hi guys, welcome to the channel with me, Dr. Real Good. How are you all doing today? Fantastically, stunningly, wonderfully well, I hope. I just need to... Move, you bastard. Do that. So this is colonised. It's... It's basically banished. That's the way I see it. Except it's based on historical um, real historical events. So I'm led to believe I'm going in blind. And sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. The um the dustmen have just arrived outside. The garbage men. I'll have a drag on me vape. Uh, Plymouth, where are we going? Plymouth holds a place of great prominence in American history. Folklore and culture seeking freedom from religious persecution in England. A group of... Okay, no, that is... That is true. We laboured to rid the Church of England of the vestiges of papal influence. Despised as Puritans, we suffered persecution and were forced into exile. In the year of our Lord, 1620, we left Europe on a religious mission to establish a godly government. In Plymouth, we boarded Mayflower, an ark that would carry us to the Promised Land. Soon, we were besieged on all sides by the treacherous ocean. Scurvy and fear of imminent death accompanied us for the remainder of our journey. We barely reached the new world alive after months on the high seas. The fear of retribution plagued our minds. Our countrymen had already warred with local tribes over this land. Many of us, too, believed we were not destined to share it. Famine and sickness struck our colony. We resorted to stealing food from the natives. The whole settlement feared the violent wrath of their war parties. Instead, one of them befriended us. Squanto spoke our language. Despite previously having suffered in slavery at the hands of our kind, he arranged for us to trade with the people of the First Light, thus saving our very lives. They introduced us to the beauty and bounty of our unforgiving surroundings, but most settlers still refused to see them as equals. Others would only deal with them if they commit to his word. Shall peace be sustained by sturdy plowshares or instruments of warfare? Ooh. Ooh. That was tasty. Hmm. Beat your microphone up, Doc. I am trying, but it keeps just getting back up again. If it only stay down, it'll be over. Oh, hello. We're on. The first colonies were about the survival in the wild and inhospitable environment of New England. Deaths were frequently caused by hunger and many diseases in our game colonised. We try to bring the difficult lives of the first colonists closer to the modern day. Well, you're going to give them all a payphone each. Um, a payphone, a mobile, pay as you go, don't matter. Gradually, we will add more and more content threats and adjust the current state of the game to ensure the greatest experience for you, our players. However, we will remain faithful to the history. Oh my God, I'm getting tired already. And way of life of the first colonists in the 17th century. In 1621, I believe. Um, I don't believe at all. It says so in the bottom left-hand corner. Oh, yeah. So, what will your role be? I don't know. You are the governor of the first permanent successful colony, Plymouth. 
But success and survival were not certain for the first years following its establishment, sacrifice, hard work, and most importantly, maintaining good relations with the natives were key to survival. The local tribes of the Wampanoag, 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 uh, the Wumpa Wumpas, Massachusetts, and the Narragan and the Narags people who lived up there before the arrival of Europeans were the main reason for the survival of the colony. Therefore, do not forget to maintain good relations with the native tribes. Next. <laughs> I'm not into reading. Oh, Squanto, oh, an English speaking name. I don't care. Let's start building a colony. Let's do that instead, shall we? Do you want a tutorial? If it means reading and reading and reading, then no, but yes. Do you want to run the tutorial? W A S D. W A S D. Oh, sorry. Those as well. That, 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 that. It is excellent, isn't it? Um, hold the right. Gotcha. For quick navigation, you can click anywhere on the minimap. Gotcha. Rotate camera Q and E. Can't I just use a middle mouse wheel? Probably to drag though that, isn't it? No, you can definitely rotate. Uh, okay, zoom in, zoom out. Thanks. Excellent, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Open the building menu. Left click on the woodcutter. Rotate buildings. Okay. We need to be in the woods. Uh, what's the front of the building? Oh, it's that way round, isn't it? Oh, nice. Did I actually put one in there? I've got no idea. Placing it by using the... Oh, you place it using the mouse wheel. I can't place it. Oh, I can now. No, I can't. Right, okay. No, of course I, I... Oh, I have placed it, have I? Hold left control while using the mouse wheel to rotate the building in smaller steps. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Place a new building near the warehouse. Sufficient distance. The further you build them from the warehouse, the longer workers will need to carry it. Well, that sort of stands out reason. Where's the warehouse? That looks like a warehouse top. It does, doesn't it? Um, yeah, well, I'm sort of trying that, but unfortunately, I don't seem... Place a new building near the warehouse. I don't want a wood chopper near the warehouse. That's just a ridiculous notion. The workers will need to carry the materials. 
Let's build a farm field. Oh, that's a rather... Do you want to build a snowman? No, I don't. There, let's build a farm field. Right there, you funks, old brother. No, nope, that didn't work. Uh, no. Please build near a warehouse. Uh, yeah, I'm sort of trying to do that. But it's not letting me. No, 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 can't move. Doc, can't move. So, are you going to let me put this down here? No. How about down here? No. How about here? No. How about out the front? No. How about we quit? How about that just went in? We must now change the working hours of the warehouse. Select a warehouse by clicking on it. There you go then. Move the red arrow and holding it while moving the mouse from five till nine. From five till nine? They're not working from five till nine. What's he talking about? Nine to five. Okay. What, you want them to work till nine? That's a bit harsh. Just like our resource will provide service. Now wait for them to finish. Oh, one, two, three. Start on a numpad. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, right, I see, I got you. what I'm doing, thank you. You don't have to keep doing that down there. I bet it wants you to do it up the top though, doesn't it? I don't know. Select seller. Is that a seller? I suppose it's a seller then. Right click on a worker slot to reduce number of available jobs at a building. Okay. So now I've got two spare workers, yeah? of open slots to two. Oh, reduce the number of open slots to two. Well, that is the number of open slots to two. Open slots, two. Look, one, two. Or do you mean that? See, that's not what it says, is it? Now you have reduced the number of workers in the cellar, workers you fired have already found a new job. Let's look at the woodcut. Let's go down here. Henry Kirby. I banish him. You selected a citizen in the window. You can see all their properties. All their properties? It's not a nice way to talk about people, really, is it? All their properties. He's quite happy. He's quite healthy. He's got a decent amount of strength. He's starving. That probably means he's not. That's probably when hunger goes down. So his hunger isn't at 100. If his hunger was at zero, you see, I would say he wasn't hungry. 
If his hunger was a hunger at a hundred, I'd say he's just about to fucking collapse. Could be just me, I suppose. Filter. He's not a cigarette. Pick. What? Now you're going to sign citizen available to job position. Get in there. And we're going to do some corn. I've done that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've done that. Ooh, I've done that. Playing plant a crop. I've done it. Uh, oh, do I have to click on it again? Oh, no, look out. That's enough for now. Let's watch a firmer work. I don't really want to watch a farmer work, if I'm honest with you. It's, um, where are they? Then why are them people going in the train station? I don't know if it is a train station. And where's the Oompa Loompas? And where's my boat? I want to go home. Well, according to the map, it's over here. Ooh. I need well, I need well for crops. I need a well for crops. I need well for crops. Do you? I can give you directions to well, it's not a problem. Yes, I can see where it is. Well, we should have a town, um, a well in the town centre anyway. Come on, you lot, choppity chop now. Oh, they're still building it. What? They just shouted hey at me. The farmer will now harvest crops. Let's let them work while we build a house for families. I don't want to build a house for families. Dwelling, yes, dwelling. For some bird having a tit sucked by a baby. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to put one here, are we? Wherever you want. Right. I, I don't want to put one there, thanks. I would rather put one about there. But I'm not allowed. Of course I'm not allowed. Why would I be allowed? Well, in that case, then, I'm putting one right there. Next to the well. I want the path of it to come out to about there so I can see the other path, you see, so I can join them together. There you are. You can live there now, people. You can build the house and live there. Just a couple of you. The ones with the big bellies. What's this place on the left? It looks like a general hospital dock. Oh, no, it's an inn. Oh, yours. Got to have that in before the houses. For fuck's sake. Didn't waste time in that chimney pot, did they? Oh, it's a shelter over there. Made out of corrugated tin by the looks of it. Bird walking, look. That woman. Damn, I wouldn't mess with her. Uh, click on the house to see, if, to see if a couple has moved in. Why don't you just knock on the door? There they are, look. There's Norman and... Norman and... Let's sell 25 or more leathers.
Right, now you have 50 coins. Let's build a pig farm. And build a couple of piglets. Oh, and buy a couple of piglets. I can swore sell. Oh. oh, right. I'll build up there where you want me to again, then, shall I? Uh, no, 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 no. You can build where I want. I don't think that's going to happen, Doc. I think it's going to build exactly where it wants to build. Yes, 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 move along now. Buy piglets for 12 coins. Great. Now you need a farmer to take care of the piglets. You seem to have a lot of workers in the warehouse. Select the warehouse. should have been. Great, now let's build a few roads. You see, I got that spot bollock really, didn't I? I haven't finished with the roads. Great, now I've take care of hungry people, select the inn. What about them? Citizens will come to eat at this inn only if the innkeeper is present at the inn. The innkeeper works mostly at night when your citizens are on free time. Don't be afraid to build two inns. One for the day shift, one for the night shift. Okay. Okay, I'm clicking there, where your arrow's pointing. Henry Kirby, I need more food. I need more patience. But let me tell you, it's running thin. Oh, okay, we were on the move then. Yes, I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. Nothing's happening. You can point the fuck... Get that shit off. I wouldn't be living here. This is the worst looking town ever. It's just every shape of wrong. Okay, um, so do I now have to use this as my town? 
Can't I just start my own town? I mean, that's a fair point, actually, Doc. Um, right, how do, how do I get rid of that? Like that, that do. Just press the fucking escape button, escape button, escape, escape. What are you? It's a log dock. Right. So now I have to use this as my. What's he available? I'm guessing. Okay. Or does he work at the pig farm? No idea. It looked like he worked at the pig farm. There goes a goose. Um. I know you need more food, Henry Kirby. Piss off. Okay, well, this is colonised. I'm Dr. Real Good, and I'm getting the fuck out of here. It actually looks really good. It looks better than the last one I previewed, which was almost unplayable, but, and has never been updated since. So I'm guessing that is a waste of money. Yes, I know it's a farm, yes. Right, OK. Um. I'm going to punch Henry Kirby in the face. He just won't fuck off. I take it Henry Kirby is the landlord. No, that's Red Clemens. That's Red Clemens, and he's over there, apparently. Who's this fucker, then? Red Clemens. From four to twenty three hundred. What? Oh right, okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Four till eleven for the Gotcha. Then you want one that opens from ten till four. You fucking planting anything in here? Apparently he is, Doc. Probably needs another worker. Well, I don't know where to get another worker from. I don't want to keep plucking them out of the warehouse. These people appear to be free to me. Let's be honest, it could be worse. James Gardner. He's a woodcutter. How much wood could a wood chop chop if a wood chop could chop wood? I think you'll find that was a chuck. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chop wood? Could be. Don't really care. As far as I'm concerned, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled pepper and I don't care anything about it. There. Um... It's very difficult to review this because I spent the whole time doing a tutorial that's basically pointless 
Although, having said that, because it was a tutorial, so there's me moaning about, um, do I now have to keep this town? If I didn't do the tutorial, of course, then the house wouldn't be where it is, the pig farm and the other farm wouldn't be where it is. So, <coughs> so I would have something of a town centre to work with. So just on the tutorial, that then suddenly just seemed to stop. Excuse me, have you escaped? Have you... Your pig. Oh, you people in there. Your pig... Oh. There's a pig over here. Come and get it. You can have it for nothing. What a ball. It looks very nice, all lit up at night time. Don't know where they got the electric, but it looks very nice. I've also got to say the inn looks like it's on fire. Nice little effect from the chimney. Um, I like it. I'm going to play some more of it. I'm going to do it without the tutorial. And I might even just post it occasionally to show you how, how the Doc's little town is getting on. See, that's perfect, that is. I got that absolutely perfect, that thing there. But now he's got no trees around him. He's got fewer still, I suppose. See, that end of that path will come straight between them buildings. Genius. Fucking genius. Don't forget, guys, if you like content on the channel, smash the like button, comment, and subscribe. Valheim will be back on Friday. Generation Zero Saturday. We Happy Few Sunday, The Walking Dead Monday. It's all go, you know. It's all go. Daily content all of the time. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, if you like the content on the channel, smash the like button, comment and subscribe, please. If you have any suggestions for games, um, you can hit me up on the Discord. The Discord links and all other social media links are in the, um, in the video description below. So you can check that out. There's a... Uh, there is a piece on the Discord for uh, game requests. Not saying I'm going to play them, but it's there. At least I made an effort. I'm also going to add another bit. If you own your own YouTube channel, um, jump on the Discord. I'm going to add a, a, a little piece on there where you can self-promote your channel. Leave links to your own channel and say, come and visit me, get yourself some subs and stuff like that. I'm going to do that. I am. I don't see why I shouldn't. Look after yourselves. Look after one another. It is just as important. It is, truly. Be kind to one another, please. Stay safe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, my friends. Be lucky. Ta-da. <laughs>